Hey what's going on guys, Berserk here and today I have a Sony Vegas editing tutorial for you guys. I'm going to be showing you how to do the aimbot effect and basic keyframing which you will need to know to be able to do this effect. So what you want to do is just import your clip. I just have this which is Braddy's clips for his edit and now it'll be like that so I just, this, you may not have to do this depending on your PVR settings but I always do that which will lock it to full screen alright. And then you want to insert a video track so you can drag the aimbot effect down. It will create an audio file. You don't need that, so just delete that track and it'll keep you with the thing. And then now you want to find, yeah, I'll do the same on this because otherwise I won't be able to lock over all the way when I see the enemy. Now you want to find the keyframe where you want it to zoom in. So see, I see the enemy. I'll drag this over until it's on the screen. Now if I go back a keyframe, I can't see it. There I can. You don't worry about that, how you can't see it now, because all you want to do is go to Video Effects, Chroma Key, and then drag blue screen over onto it. What that'll do is give you this pop-up. Now you just want to click this right here and drag it all the way over to black, right in the very bottom corner, as far as possible. You will see a little black sort of blur around it, but to get rid of that, just click on the low threshold and move over to 0.7 something. I just normally go to like 0.27 because that's just what it automatically goes to when I get in the 700s. Alrighty. Now you want to go event pan crop. I just zoom out so it's a lot easier to work with. You probably want to zoom out as well when you're doing this. It makes it much easier and then you don't stuff shit up. Alright, now move out as far as possible. And then it'll see it, just move it to the shape you want, like so it's a perfect circle. Move so you can't even see your cursor anymore. Just go out as far as possible so it's small, because that's a lot better. And now you just want to move it. Say if I move this right, it'll move the aimbot on the screen to the left. And if I move it up, it'll go down. It's the opposite. So I want to move it till it's locking onto his head, and then you click create keyframe. A lot of people forget to do that, but if you forget to do that, this tutorial won't work. Well, the tutorial will because I'm showing you how to do it and I'm doing it correct but it won't work for you when you try to do it all right now go to the next keyframe jumped a bit too far all right now it's on him now there's the keyframe there let's move it back onto his head again and then create another keyframe and then go to the next one See, it didn't move much there, it's still on him, so I don't have to create another one there. You only need to create it when it moves off your guy. Alrighty. Now there it is, now I'll create another. It's basically repeating the process of creating the keyframes. So you just got to keep moving it onto your enemy, and then create the keyframe so it locks on, because otherwise it'll just move away and won't work. And you just want to have it sitting, that little arrow in there, the little circle just above his head and onto his body for it to work the best. Create the keyframe, move to the next frame. Some some frames when you move to the next frame it won't move at all, it'll stay on him because it depends how your person, like your player moves. See, it didn't move that far then but it did slightly but sometimes it'll move dramatically and really quick and go like heaps far away so. And then let's do it and then put it back on him. I'm going to show you this clip fully edited with a song. I'll, I'm not going to edit it too much because I don't want to waste too much time at the moment because I'm not using it for anything. But I'll, I'm not going to show you in the tutorial because how to do it because you should know how to import a song and all that when if you know how to do this, alright? So I'll show you it fully edited after. And then move it back on, create the other keyframe. And see my scope's starting to zoom in now. Put that back on and then create the keyframe. Go to the next frame. Still on him. Still on him. My scope is moving in. So you want to create the last keyframe. I'll see how far my scope goes next. Yep. I'll keep it on him there. Create the keyframe. And then that's it. I'll just put a fade on it. So then my scope moves in. I'm just gonna make it bigger so it's easier to work with. And then drag it in. And then fade it out. 
Alright, so now when you play it, I'll play it from here. See, it goes on locked on. You can't see it too much because it's a bit laggy, but yeah. I'm going to be leaving a download link for the aimbot, so you can download that and use that. So if this video helped you out, please leave a rating and subscribe. Thanks guys, I'm going to be showing you the clip I edited now. I